Hey. Yes. I don't oh, know where apparently I got some uh I got some Russian gal to follow me apparently. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's from, she's from Russia and I was like, okay, at first I thought it was a bot. And then I looked at the channel, it's actual actual person. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, okay. Like, Why is a Russian following you? <laughs> That's I don't sense. know. Freaking, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe she wants to search for Oleg, and I'm the missing link. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What I do know is that, um, oh, I watched Hitman the movie. So I've seen Which the first. So I saw there's two films. Both got rated horribly by critics, although I would argue the first one from 07 is pretty dang good. Um, it's pretty faithful to the source material. What was the good one? Hitman 07? 07, yeah. 20, 2015. I haven't I haven't seen it all the way through. I just got to the beginning. But no, so far, both both films are good. I, the, the 07 film's great. We'll, we'll have to do... We'll do a movie night and watch that one. That one's... It's pretty good. If you know who Hitman is and kind of the just the, the character... I think the show does a decent job of, of, of getting it mostly right. I mean, they make it kind of James Bondish because he like is with a girl, but he doesn't like get seduced by her. Yeah, but both like movies that. he has a girl, right? Yeah. Um, cause again, I think it's the, they do that cause I'm pretty sure they're trying to capture a wider audience, you know, as opposed to just because selling 47. Like, if you translated him straight from the game to the movie, I think you're going to limit your audience to just the gamers. And I obviously... See, this is why movie adaptations kind of suck, though, is this is the complicated slippery slope. You want to, like, you want to make a faithful adaptation, but I think the reason why directors always choose such a different direction from, like, the source material, like comics or whatever the case is, and then they flop at times, is because they go too That's far. Much. They yeah. go they go too far. Like, they, they just they make up too much stuff. You know, where they need to be... It's a hard balance, because you have to balance out... Uh, yeah, it is part five, Bobby. You have to balance out... Uh, you know... Because you have to balance out the gamers that are watching it, and kind of kind of fan service them, and then you also have to make a balance for people that you want to get hooked into the franchise. Because the whole point... Like, if I was going to make a Hitman movie, my goal would be to please the gamers, but also to get other people that don't know what Hitman is interested to buy the product. Like yeah. It's, it's kind of like selling toys. In a sense, you want to get them hooked on the product. Now, yeah, what happens is developers just they they go too much in one direction and then they lose everybody. And it's that's exactly why the Hitman 2015 film uh, was a dumpster fire, according to a lot of people, because it really just I haven't seen the whole thing yet. But from what I can from what I've heard people say, it just went it just was weird. The effects were really like just kind of low budgety looking. And the story was pretty bad, and so on and so forth. But see, I don't with the 07 film, that one got rated. Can a little I stop bit you right here for a second, by the yeah, way? I've got to go put my brother back in his room. He, he's oh, okay. out in the hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Sorry, I I'll, just need to stop right. you. I'll talk before. to I'll talk to Bobby. I'm Maybe sorry though. I just didn't want to. No, no. Go take your thing. You um, yeah, no. The Hitman games are absolutely fantastic, uh, Bobby. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, um, the 07 film is great. I th it has good music. I think the plot's fine. Doesn't need to be anything special. It's Hitman. He's just assassinating people, and that's literally what he does in the movie. He's just killing people. He's assassinating people, and uh, it's you know it, it's great. I, I I liked the 07 film. I finished it today. I watched it. It uh, started it a couple days ago, and I finished it today. Great, great. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. Um, and so far, the 2015 one, I, I've watched about the first like. 15 minutes of it and it's it's pretty good i don't have any problems with it i think both people who portray 47 did it do and do a pretty good job i definitely like the actor from the 07 film over the actor from 2015 i prefer the original guy and yeah i, I saw you said hi to me uh hey bobby um anyway but yeah i kind of wish they got the first guy to play him again because i think he just they're both good but I think the first guy's better. Yeah. Yet another game trilogy. I will be playing those if anybody plays them here, because I don't think Cats. I don't think Cats is gonna be 
he he won't he won't be that interested in Hitman. But you know, like like myself, I you know I'd go head over heels for that franchise. Such a great franchise. But so I'll probably play him because I have a little bit more passion for him, and I I know him more. Blood Money's great. Uh, what was awesome about Blood Money? All right, I'm back. Is that you could customize your stuff? Yeah, I'm in the middle of talking to Bobby about Hitman. Uh, the movies are good. The movies. Wait, are we are, streaming? Yeah, we're live. Uh, the movies are good, Bobby. Uh, as I, I was telling um, Trig, I watched the 07 film today, finished it, and then I started the 2015 film. The 07 film totally. It's just called Hitman. Totally worth a watch. If you can find it, like even if you can rent it for a couple bucks or just you know buy a cheap DVD of it somewhere. Definitely pick that movie up. It's it's a, it's it's fun. It's a little ridiculous, but then again, it's based on a video game character, so it's gonna be ridiculous. But definitely worth the watch when you have the time. Actually, quite frankly, you don't even need to worry about getting the DVD because I'm gonna stream it. I was talking to Trig. I think that's gonna be a movie night idea. Uh, it's gonna be a Hitman, at least the 07 film. So our Saturdays movie nights. We decided that. I think Saturday. Yeah, I think we're gonna. That's the thing. We gotta do Borderlands as well, though. Oh yeah, dude. But so, we, can do this we can do that on Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we. But um. Yeah, we're. Th- I think. Uh. Yeah, it's yeah. Hitman's great. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So movie nights are yeah. I gonna be. They can be Saturdays, and then our our game playing streams will be on Friday nights. That's when we'll yeah. get some more Borderlands uh, in. Okay. So uh. Sounds we're live, me. right? We are live. Julio. All right. So. Same verse, sorry, uh, second verse, same as the first. We go talk to Magic Nonico. Oh, hold up, hold up. No, I want your screen, sorry. It's okay. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah! Alright. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, do I not get the, uh... Is that, Persona, a, is that a dog? Yes, he's a good boy. Oh my gosh, terrifying. With ear wings. With wings of ears. Yeah, that's terrifying. All right, Derek. Oh, you want to see terrifying? Mm. Yeah, no, I see that too. Squid. This one's the best one. Yeah, yeah, it's like if Zelda like went like into um the porn industry. What? Oh. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Go back when this live stream's over to this mark, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can just do it now. It is pouring. Please give me. It's raining. What's cats yeah. doing? Studying. You're damn right, I'm studying. Let me have level four already. You plot twist. Every book he's reading is just Junez ads. Oh no. <laughs> Stop reading, but the thunder was scared. Were you, were you scared, big bro? Okay. Oh, she has something to say this time. <laughs> oh. I can't advance my relationship. Okay, so I can't talk with Nanako yet. Okay, sorry. Who goes into a conversation? He goes, I think I'm ready to advance my relationship with you. <laughs> it's like, what? We study hard. Yes, I'm gonna see. need you to bring up the exam answers for me, fruitcake. I'm gonna let Tregal handle that this time. Ooh, 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 my thing just, my thing went up to level four. Just one more level. One more level. And then we you know just do, That joke is we, good, alright, that was worth it. Then we do the exact same thing with, with courage. Oh boy. So what were we talking about with video game movies? Uh, Triggle, what did you say was the best way to get courage? Uh, t- mon- uh Mondays, Tuesdays, Hello? go eat at, uh, the tofu place. Uh, part-time jobs, part-time at the hospital, mm. social links, obviously, and then, uh, eating at the restaurant, which you don't have access to when it's raining. That's it. So, hold on a minute, so, she's tired of studying, so... Oh, it's not a co- Oh my gosh. The next best thing is for her to box, because that's really going to make you yeah. calm down. Oh no, are we going to teach Nanako self-defense? We're gonna, Nanako's going to beat up someone. Hey, give me one second. She already has self-defense. It's called CPS. Oh shit.
I, you know, if some girl looked at me with those eyes, <laughs> I'd be like, long gone, baby. Hmm. <laughs> oh, by the way, little update on my 007. Um, uh, her, no, her eyes are just creepy. Bobby, uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, not, not, not Nanako. <laughs> Why is that floating? Look at that, look at that grasshopper, like, she, her, her body's moving to the grasshopper. Oh my side. gosh, that's so bad! <laughs> that thing's huge! I actually have seen grasshoppers. Yeah, mutated before. grass. that's not that big. I've seen them too. Grasshoppers, that's like a mutated grasshopper. M mutated hopper. Actually, that's oh. hopper, that's hopper from A Bug's Life, if anybody gets that reference. <laughs> is, that, is that what the guy's name was? Was hopper? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Gosh, that movie's a good movie too. I haven't seen Bugs Life in years, and that was even was, no, that was Disney. Yeah, I think that was Disney. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. it was hilarious. Oh hilarious. yeah, yeah. Let me finish my sentence. I got distracted by um, cats. Anyway, yeah, it's okay. Is is it Pixar? I thought it was Disney. Maybe it is Pixar. No, it is Pixar. It is Pixar. Yeah, but that's not Disney though. Is it? Oh, it's a subdivision. Okay, so okay, that makes sense. Anyway, okay. So I am about to finish Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64, and it it is like it is torture. Okay? It is torture. Not because the gameplay so I'm playing it on the original hardware, so the N64 yes, at 10 this game goes in major firefights, it drops to 10 frames a second. And I it, 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 there's input lag, so when you try to switch guns or gadgets, you you can't you can't map your buttons. You have to. Mm. So for example, if I have the pistol out and I swap to a different thing, I have to go five rotations to get back to my pistol. Well, are you playing on double agent or what are you playing? No, on? I'm playing on normal. Um, so you're playing on agent then? Yeah. Um. No. It's agent. Um. And then it's. Ah, uh, it's not. I need flowers. It's not double agent. Yeah, I guess today. it is agent. Because I forgot the first. Oh, I think it's Mother's trainee day. or something. My anyway, told us but that dude, today when you give your mom flowers. like the game's awesome, but on the N64, mom, so the frames drop like a mother humper. Okay, here's what you do. Look at the so ground. Bad. No, I, it's just. And, oh, and not even. Okay, so you know how Natasha. I don't know if you've seen the oh, game, what but do I do? what do I do here? What do I do? Here? Nanako seems what upset. Trig, you're on this. I'm on, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on my monologue. Give him to her dad. Give him to her dad. Do I? Do I tell him to give him to her dead mom, her dad, or to me? To dad, her dad. Oh, I hide the flowers. Yeah. Huh? But it's Mother's Day. Is it okay to give them to dad? Um. And then okay. I'll then I'll give them. To um. I did yeah. a really good job. My teacher <laughs> said they were pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Dad will be happy to get I got, them. Don't advance the tree yet. <laughs> I did a really you good a job. Too, <laughs> there go oh, you go. Ah, you did get a flower. Celebrate Mother's Day together. Your mother, cat. Okay, no, no. But here's the thing. But no, but the game's awesome. Um, but the frames drop like crazy. Um, oh, I've had Natasha go in front of my bullets four times, so she's gotten killed by me four times, and then she's also rushed in front of me, got killed by the guards' grenades five times. Um, oh, and then, uh, Anya Toff, whatever the, like, the, the bad lady is in the actual movie, you fight her, right? If you... <laughs> she has a P90 and a grenade launcher. As soon as she launches oh. the grenade launcher, the game drops to five frames a second. Even Again, when the look at the ground. It's just... You get, you save ten. Anyway, so, oh my gosh, like, I'm not kidding you, it's, it, sometimes the game, it's like, it's like torture. It's like a literal torture to get through it. Because... Because the hardware can't handle it. The N64 cannot handle the game. But again, I don't know how else to say of, it. Again, it's the case of the less you look at, the less it loads. And Okay, but you you have to understand, you've seen the N64 controller, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, that thing is not rated for first-person shooters that much. No kidding. Right, right. I, need, I need all of you to quiet down and oh get my me my gosh. test answers. Yeah, so anyway. So, yeah, no, it's just like, it's a... It's a great game it's just the n64 can't handle it and the controls almost make me want to die because in order to aim in the game it's it's hard it's very difficult to pull off headshots uh, you could do what other people do is um they just put a dot in the center of the screen like no 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 this thing. is this is how you play the game you emulate it 
I have it on yes, here. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Just emulate. If you're ever gonna, this is what I'm saying. If anyone ever was gonna play it like that game all the way through, I cannot. I don't recommend on the original hardware. I recommend emulating it so you can have a good experience. Um. Uh, what yeah. day is it? Five four. Five nine. Uh, it's five nine. Yeah. Zero AD, right? No, 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 no. I thought it was uh, one BC. Yeah, one BC. Oh yeah, one BC. Yeah. <laughs> no. My knowledge has increased. Um, anyway, uh, no, but yeah, you no, just, no. just emulate the but game and you can run beta. at gold. Yeah, you can run GoldenEye at 60 frames a second, no problem. So emulate it. Don't play it on the original oh, hardware. You it will want to skip through it. Yeah. It's beta. Okay, okay so I was going to say. You'll want to uh, claw your eyes out. How, how, the, uh, how the test works and how midterms and finals work in Persona is is you take the test and then it immediately goes to the next day. You, get, you basically lose four days. Right. Hey, uh, actually, hang is. on. Before you choose... Uh, oh, it's uh, marriage Bishable? numbers. Marriage numbers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the questions are just the ones from class. Also, here's my question. Um, why are her eyes look like she's from The Shining and she's Jack Nicholson? Because yes. we made this comment last time. <laughs> no, not not The Shining. Um, who translated like, the... Uh, Sasuke and Natsume. She looks like a female That's in the first one. Her, but with brown hair instead of green and without the white face paint. She looks like it's she... Um, around, really. It looks like she, I, like... I, I what is she? I can't hear Triggle. It's that one. But, uh, yeah, she does look like the Joker. <laughs> she does look like the Joker. You know, the AK does look like the pencil, Bobby. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. The guns would be great if, when you pull the trigger, the game doesn't lag and you can actually shoot. <laughs> That's, like, half the problem I run into. Pythagoras. That one. Pythagoras. Yeah, like yeah, like on the better. but I'm gonna beat it on the original hardware just for bragging rights to say that I've done it. Yeah. Olympus mods, never doing it again. Olympus mod? Yeah, it was Olympus yeah. mods. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's Olympus mods again. Yeah, like the, the N64 controller is a good controller, Bobby, but it's not rated for FPSs. It is not rated for FPSs, and Goldeneye has just shown me that. Cause I, I tell you, man, like I said, it's it's been torture on some of the worst levels to get through it. Oh, and then you also get no health pickup, so when you die, there's no checkpoints, so you have to restart everything again. It's fine. It is over. a pain Ooh, a in the off. butt. I bet every student It's hard even on normal. Exams are over. Hey, quiet down. And the one thing too, oh. um the draw distance on the N64 sucks, Trig. So I can only see yeah, about yeah. 10 yeah. feet in front of my face. I put but did you hear also they did find a major skip for like the last level? Or like I they found yeah. like a two, like a three second time save. Yeah, something table. like that. But it, yeah, dude, that's the thing. That's what makes the that's what makes the shooting really hard too. Is that when you can't, I can't see half of the time what I'm shooting. I don't know where the guards are. I can't. It's like so. It's even the night levels are so pitch black you can't see a dang thing unless it's right in front of you. But again, on the PC, that those problems don't exist. It's way better. So again, just emulate it. Do not play it on the N64. Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too. If the frames it's didn't drop right to like answer. four frames a second, like every gunfight, it would be way better. But it, it's just hey, did you hear? The, the N64 just can't down. handle it. it but really, it was good for like at the time. Though. Like it was they pushed it and it, it worked, case. but didn't. Oh, they they pushed it. All right, I could see you know that. Nearby, but it's it's man, I gotta be honest, man. It's it's pretty like the way the game runs is pretty horrendous. Dude, on the original hardware, it's pretty bad. A guy in a biker gang. Well, anyways, it's still a lot of fun, about tomorrow's group but it is date. just we technically outside, wow. But it's it's kind of a rain mess, soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow? Cats, you hear that? It's gonna rain tomorrow. There you go. You can study again. That, that, we're gonna game? get the next. Yeah, no. The I definitely think the N64 oh, yeah. controller, Bobby, was engineered was for more time time. platforming games and even puzzle games. I I don't think it was for FPSs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at look at the bag that girl has right here. The white bag. It's it has, oh, it's Adidas. It has, it has yeah, the, but it's, it's Bapas. It's Bapas. It's ba and also, <laughs> it, it looks like she's like searching for cell service. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. <laughs> yeah, I know there are some yeah. rumors about a yeah, first Yeah, the N64 controller is most definitely raiser. like for platforming. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend like ever Mario since middle school. Like that's, it. Although, that, that's what he was saying. Like Bobby said, for Mario and Zelda and Banjo-Kazooie, it was fine. Did, yeah, did for those, it was fine. Legend? Everything else, no. Uh, it's not it's what you like, think, no. Yukiko. I mean, even Jet Force Gemini is not that bad, but that's also because the game actually runs <laughs> properly. <laughs> Isn't like, uh, what's it called? 
the better uh, version of uh what was the female version of uh 007 on that, on that oh system? oh you're talking about the one i was talking about perfect uh, dark Kate. yeah oh yeah yeah perfect dark and then is the, that slightly better um i think so uh it was definitely like i think that it was more refined in terms of controls i don't yep. think it was nearly as hard as golden eye i'm supposed to get checkpoints i think but what's cool about that game is that i got the rare replay collection for my xbox so i have that i have the original game on my xbox okay but yeah that that and jet force gemini i like jet force gemini is a game i grew up with which is basically a 3d shooter or it's a third person shooter that's inspired after mario basically the developers like you know some people same people who made golden i said we want to make mario with guns and that's literally what it All is right plays very similar to like a platformer but you just shoot everything it's pretty fun though i've actually never seen this game <sighs> yeah jeff force it's just it, it sucks that it never got a sequel because that game was fun it had good music too what sorry and it also ran you know for more than like you know it ran at like 30 frames instead of 10. damn okay yeah that's big it's it's it, again it was a much hmm. it just ran a lot better Oh yeah, I mean, I like see. That's why I'm debating. So I have the world is not enough for the PlayStation One and the Nintendo 64, Bobby. I'm actually I was originally gonna play the N64 version of the world's not enough. It's the next James Bond game after GoldenEye, and I'm debating doing it on the PS1 because it has dual analog sticks. <laughs> I'm, I'm debating on which system I want to play it on because after playing GoldenEye, yeah, I don't want to really do that again. <laughs> Even though the N64 version apparently is better, I, I want to be able to aim, shoot, and hit what I'm aiming at. Wait, isn't it the aiming? It's like uh, forward and backward. It's tank controls, right? No. Default, default, mm. default is tank controls, right? On the N64 for Goldmine? Uh, no. Are you sure? I, I That's don't even what know. I remember. I don't even remember what the... Well, it wasn't tank controls. It was, I mean... Oh, tank it was pretty. It was pretty sluggish. I mean, it still feels like, kind of sluggish. It's, you have forwards and backwards, and then uh, you have look left and look right on the main joystick. That's the default. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it, it, it is like tank controls. If that's how you're describing it, yeah. Yeah. Why do I remember that though? <laughs> I've always liked Brosnan as a Bond, um, Bobby. I, I mean, I grew up playing uh, Nightfire, Everything or Nothing, and Agent Under Fire. I grew up playing those games. Those are 007 games that came out. And those, the EA games for 007, all the way up to From Russia With Love, are definitely the best Bond games on the market. Um, Pierre, uh, <clears throat> Daniel Craig got kind of screwed over. He didn't really have a lot of good Bond games. He only has, like, one that's good. Um, Magic got not a girl. screwed. But, Damn it. yeah, Pierce Brosnan had the best... I'm not going to say the best movies, but he definitely had the best games. <clears throat> that was the time where EA really wanted to make games on him. It kind of sucks they dropped the license, because they made some good games. Again, they weren't also, like, they were selling, but they weren't selling that much. No, no, no. Over, they weren't They weren't college. huge. They weren't huge sellers, I don't think. But they're they're great projects, though. I want TV tomorrow. Get some XP. There you go. I was going to do the same. Hey, but what about the Midnight Channel? I yeah, know. I'm. I'm gonna go grind up a little bit. It also feels a little bit more of a richer experience, Bobby, after watching every single 007 film, which I did. It feels a little richer playing the games now because now I, I like now I'm getting like all the references and stuff, and even the little subtle things, because like the games borrow from stuff like in concepts from the old movies too, even in some of their jokes. So it's kind of. Makes for a more rich experience. Like yeah, with that game, like I would definitely if I hadn't seen the movies, I definitely would not get James. I'm James James Bond. I definitely would not get on that. It's a yeah. If I hadn't well, seen the it, movies, I, I will be honest. Honestly, like my advice for anybody who even wants to, for example, like oops, the games you should play that are really worth your time are Agent Under Fire up to From Russia with Love. Those are the best Bond games you'll probably ever play. And my advice would be just for those games, all you have to do is watch From Russia With Love. Uh, Whoa, you know, to under, I, I would watch Fox? like three what of Sean Connery's films to kind of get his, because From Russia With Love has 
Whoa, how the fuck is that? There you go. It has it references from too. Goldfinger, oh, from Russia with Love, and from it? other movies that he's been in and Thunderball. Uh, but yeah, and then then for the Agent Under Fire up to huh? Everything or Nothing, just watch Pierce Brosnan's films. Are you serious? And then you'll pretty much get so the references from those. That's where it, us up? that's the bond they follow after. What's with this guy? It acts like it understands what we're talking about. Yeah, but it's, are you at least saying that the fox went to the elevator? What we're saying. They, yeah, they're fun to watch, Bobby. I mean, it, again, my advice would be if you're going to get the films, I would either buy the DVD collection or buy the Blu-ray collection. Just find it, you know, at Walmart or somewhere. Huh? You think it really On Blu-ray, the films look great. I'd feel bad if we trapped it. The only like movies I have to finish, I have to just, think? after I watch Quantum of Solace and Spectre, I've watched every single film from yeah. the beginning. I, those are the only two I haven't I'm watched yet because shrine, I haven't started them yet because the games that I'm playing, like, huh? you know, have nothing are to do with Daniel Craig, so. Take it into that other world? Hmm. Mm, I guess that might work. But I will, uh, seem, I I'll, I'll probably finish that next week just on my own time. Mischief in the store. But I think Pierce Brosnan's best Bond film is Tomorrow Never Dies. I think it has the best villain, and it has just, I don't know, like the overall plot in that one's really good. It's well acted. <laughs> yeah. I think we bring the fox into the TV world. I You probably do. Um. Yeah, Connery, Brosnan, and more are our good choices um i still like timothy dalton i mean for me yeah it's got to be connery's my favorite hands down it, he always has been ever since i've seen his movie even when i started roger moore or george lazenby i automatically i was already hooked on connery's just too good but it's probably connery oh man probably connery brosnan and then maybe timothy dalton and then roger moore for me, I mean, Daniel Craig might come before even Brosnan. I like Daniel Craig, so. But Connery's still the, yeah, Connery is still, yeah, my favorite. Dude, every time you go into an area, I just get, I just keep adding more from the soundtrack. Yep. Okay, so I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked by you this. You should just honestly monster. just look up the uh, Persona like four OST and just 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 let it play one day. Go through it. it has all the fun, tracks. Though. I know, but that's not as fun though. How is that not as fun? You're listening to all the tracks. Um, Dude, I, I got some. You know, and, and there's the thing too. You know what? Speaking of games and soundtracks, you know, even the 007 games like Nightfire has some great songs in it. I smell three enemies. As Don't does from Russia with love. Like though th both those games have really good music. For even for 007 like movie tie-in games. It's over. I mean, oh crap, I didn't change how she so operates. Persistent. Even though technically uh the Bond games aren't the only movie tie-ins are like the first couple. Uh Agent Under Fire, Night Fire, Everything or Nothing are not movie tie-in games. They're actually their own story, which is kinda cool. Yeah, he's, okay, he's, he's, that... he's getting his new movie in October, but yeah, go ahead, Trig. I... How does she Stop have the worst agility, by the way? Right That's now, I don't get. Thing. She has... She's... In martial arts. Pounded in oh. oh, also, um, I bought MGS2 and uh, Subsistence... I got the bundle of Subsistence and the regular game as well, Bobby. I bought that today. I have a lot of packages coming in the next week. Mm. A game I'm really excited to play is Urban Chaos Riot Response. Oh yeah, that's going to be a fun one to play. It's my favorite kind of police work too, just mow everybody down. <laughs> that's not police work. <laughs> it is in that, that's, that's the joke. Dude, that, that as long as you yell police, police, it's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go see that movie too, Bobby. I, I definitely want to see it in theaters. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's perfect timing. I just, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm about to finish all the Bond films. It's like, in, it's just like, this couldn't have been. I think I, I think I, I thought I told you I picked up MGS3. Did I, did I tell you I picked up two? I mean, I don't think I told anyway I picked up two because I just bought it today. So anyway, um, 
Yeah, it's like perfect timing because I'm I'm, get, I'm, in, I'm into the Bond games. I'm, I've watched all the films. Like it's it's perfect timing to go watch the new one in theaters. I couldn't have timed that better, really. It's cool when stuff falls into place like that. What's the uh, what's the thing you're looking for? Can yes. I... Yeah. You. Yeah. Okay, I got so three. Um... I got two. So after uh, so because we saved Yukiko, uh, when the, after completing a story moment, uh, the previous dungeon that you completed will have a. Super you know, how do you? Yeah, but how do you get to it? So you can command them. Yourself. You gotta complete. You gotta go through the dungeon. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Hang in there. Yeah, I got. I so I picked up. So in the bundles I got, I got Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, and then I also got Metal Gear Solid 2. The one I bought today was Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 2 Subsistence. So I got both the vanilla games and their enhanced versions. It was it was expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but it was it was fun. It was worth it. Cause now I, I can keep them forever. But I got a lot. Of, oh, I also got Dino Crisis 3 in the mail today. And that one's pretty fun. Nice. You changed. What's the tactics How the menu? What did I change? It's the ta what's the tactics menu? Whatever that is. I'm trying to look for the tactics menu. Uh, go into system and try and find the key. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll be holding on to those games like forever. Oh, yeah. Anime subtitle on. Thank you. Oh. We we're good. You but you didn't confirm subtitles, yet, but go to no. keyboard. I mean. Oh gosh, I, I, I'm, I won't just let you know when it comes in. I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures of both of them. Of MGS3, its counterpart, and then two and its counterpart. Okay. Ah, there you go. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> act really. I don't like Act really. I get why I get why it's in the game though by default. Yeah. Well, dude, there was the default for Persona Three and the original Persona Four. Did you change it in Persona Three? No, 4? you could not, not change it. Mm. I would love to change it. Yeah, I had to go through the entire dungeon again, but the dungeon is low level for me. I, I hope it will be. You can tell, uh, you can actually tell the strength of an enemy based on its size. So you see, and that's how this what she guy said. Small. <laughs> how that guy's small. I saw that coming. It means, it means I'm over leveled. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Someone else's turn. That makes sense. There. I couldn't do it. Two enemies left. Couldn't <laughs> do it. Yeah. Nope. They are far too valuable to get rid of them. So, can you upgrade your personas in this? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. You gotta get them. You gotta get uh, your party members to bond level 10. Right. So, that's After one of you romance them. <laughs> okay, dude. The, the How fast the camera moves when I when I change it is annoying. Dude, more like how fast your guy changes his stance, like when he when he goes like ant like I diagonal. <laughs> Very impressive. I can't even do that, and I'm lightweight. Okay, it's, it's time for something we haven't seen in a while. It's down! We have fight! Be gone! Oh, why, why is you can go this thing is? <laughs> it's the freaking gang rape! Uh oh. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. <laughs> Oh, okay, no. We're grinding here. All we care about is that EXP. Now, oh gosh, speed. I missed my chance. I'll have to wait for that again. What? He said, he said we're grinding here, and I was like, that. I was going to say, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a golden hand. A rare monster! Beat the stuffing out of it! Thick is... 
do this. Persona! Damn, it's not going down. It's over. There! Are you just gonna lose this, though? One enemy! Fight! 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 Yes, Teddy, shut the fuck up. Mm. <laughs> Asshole. Okay, I need, I need to... Persona! <laughs> so, I need a strong strength stat. None of you have strong strength stats ex except for Yunami. Also, a quick question. Since you know more about the Persona characters than I do, why does the guy from Persona 3 shoot himself? What? But to get his Persona, why does he shoot himself? Dude, I, I can't hear you speak up a little bit. Why does the guy from Persona 3 shoot himself to activate his oh, Persona? Oh, themselves. Why? Uh, because in Persona 3, it's about accepting death, and the only way to summon your Persona in that game is to be, a, is to not be afraid of death. So, uh, by, by shooting yourself in the head without fear, it allows you to summon your Persona. Great. So it works in real life too, then? Right? No. You sure? Have you tested it? Yeah, I'm sure. Have you tested it, though? No. Didn't think so. I don't want to test it. I'll get back with you on that. I'll get back with you on that. Nah, we only do this one. This is a rank 2 card, which means that the boost is even higher. Oh wow, you got, you got 2,000 yen for that encounter? Or is that just what you're at right now? Man, we're, we're, we're way up from getting 200 yen. Wait, is okay, this like Pokemon where you have to drop one of the stats? Move. So, uh, Trickle, you, said, you know how you said that the Golden Hand has no weaknesses? Besides be beating it up. Uh, yeah. So, um, let me let me get to it. Um, let me, party member. Party member. Yosuke. So, um. I like punch on, counters on that. Here is a very light damaging move, but it has an insane hotly high critical hit rate. Oh, damn. Okay. Which means it's great for monsters because, um. Uh, all out attacks just ignore fence. Yeah. So, um, when you have monsters like that, you just spam the shit out of moves like Sonic Punch and then do all out attacks. Yeah, okay. But no, is this like Pokemon though, where, uh, where you have to drop like one of the. one of his moves? What? No. Well, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Yosuke's. Yosuke's got. Well, okay, so the next move he has is Magara, which is the stronger version of. Gar Gara that he already has. Ah, okay, so it's, it's yeah. reasonable what you get rid of. So a lot of the party members' moves are just going to be replacements of what they already have. I smell three enemies! Don't get careless! But, like, until, like, end game, like, you want to make, like, a hard decision about what you want to drop. Right? Down. Oh, uh... The hard decision? Like, the hard decision, like, what, uh... What stat to drop. You I guess, I don't know. Uh, you don't have to drop a stat. I mean, a stat, like, a move. I thought the um, hard. Okay, okay. Oh god! What the? Oh, this is her. This is her. Uh, <laughs> all of attack. I thought the hard decision was uh, who to sacrifice amongst your friends. I think her does block. There's only one choice. The lucky one is Clover. We. But we want that EXP. I think. Wait, did you say so Ooh I... starts right here? What? <laughs> oh, her dialogue was weird. Because was... I, I moved past it. No, I, I know that. No, but it's just the way it read. Okay, so uh, that follow up attack, I was not expecting it to one shot uh, the enemy. You didn't expect it to team rocket it? What? You didn't expect it to team rocket it? What enemy? Yeah. How's your no. chance? It's not strong. She didn't just drop Dunce cake, strong. man. Persona. Ten. One enemy. That sounded Fight. really Let's weak. That's some thick skin. Okay, well. Persona. I can't defeat it. 
Guys, 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 this is the title of the game. No, it's not. What? It's not the, this isn't the title of the game. It's, so he's saying half the title. Well, they oh. all say no. We're just waiting for one of them. Just the main character says, Use Persona. Use golden. Persona? I, I, <laughs> persona persona or Golden? Golden. Wow! Yeah. They don't ever say Golden. They Actually, should. yeah, they did. They said Golden Week. Not these guys, but... You're right. Well, that's an actual week in Japan. That's an ad for Junus! No, that dude. makes sense. <laughs> Do you see so how this guy is very big? He's red? actually a tough opponent. Two enemy <laughs> shadows. Quick, to... I summon Shinji Mikami! Oh wait, wrong this franchise. Weak to ice. Weak to lightning. Two okay, enemies. great. Charge through them. I actually think I can kill them this turn. <laughs> I have a great strategy. Final turn. Just walk yeah. away. Boo -boo, here it is. Now. In what the, the heck? What the heck does he do? Just crush ice in front of his face? <laughs> yes. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Please do not give him another turn. I summoned Hideo Kojima. <laughs> They got another turn. How dare them. I I said in the name of Triggle and Triggle failed me. Yeah, I don't think you said that. I don't, you never said that. Yes we did. No, you should have said it in Mega Chad. I think I can get into this. There you go. So on, so what's your goal here? Um so, A, we're just doing a little bit of farming. Okay. And B, there's a super boss. Okay, so after you complete a dungeon, um, after you complete a dungeon, uh, by the next story beat, you can go back into that dungeon, and in the final boss room, there is a super boss. Oh, really? or, or you could study. Uh huh, we could study. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Here go. There's only one thing I want to study in this game world. All the possible ways to achieve my harem. You don't get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> two enemies. Charge through them. Yeah. Cats can be my sidekick that runs and gets. If he can be my assistant. Right. Bitch, I ain't no. <laughs> I ain't no third wheel. I ain't no third. Nah, I didn't say you don't have to be a third wheel to be an assistant. Just one enemy left. Of that, course, that's really a third wheel. And no, no, an, an assistant. No. Weakness. An assistant in getting your hair. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. If I hold on, if I bring you like on like the date, then yeah, you're a third wheel. But like the planning stage, no, not a third wheel on that. Listen, you're only a third wheel if I say you're oh, a third wheel. I don't wheel. have this guy yet. What is but this? XP pose? though. But XP though. What is this pose? Nice. It's a JoJo's pose. Is that a po is that a yeah. horse? Yes. Look it is a horse. at that horse. It's a horse. What did you just drop, by the way? Uh, angel. Now, oh, hold Harvey. on a minute. Hold on. That your guy's main persona is he wearing a legit jockstrap? <laughs> We don't He's question it. Top. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Oh, nice. Soda. You just so you're fighting the Jedi Temple guards. Oh, you, you mean the weak win. guys? <laughs> is it Let's do this. Let's see what Yosuke Strike is. Actually, I take offense to that. The Jedi Temple guards are actually oh. badasses. Yosuke, your Yosuke strike was shit. You know, that's the one. That's the one sucky thing about Episode Three. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the one five. sucky thing about Episode Three was um, they had a scene where the clones became they they disguised themselves as Jedi Temple guards and Obi Wan and Yoda uh, kill them, but they cut it out. That's kind of a cool oh. scene. Yeah. Yeah. So they were originally when they arrived there, instead of just having them just kill like the clones there, like it shows that montage. Yeah, they were gonna have them uh, dress up. And his temple guards and say, hey, you know, we've been attacked, we've been waiting for you, and then they ambush him. I smell two enemies! Beat them up! Aha! Go, Sensei! You knocked a 
it down. Now crit is crit. So hang on. So are we fighting like the king of England? No. Where's the ton of them? <laughs> Can I crit, please? Two oh. enemies left. It's over. Come on, crit. Game. All right, quick. Quick, kick. You're a nerd. Name all the kings in order. Kings and queens in order. Why didn't I from, just from what? Sonic. I from what? England. I Sonic Punch. Wait, I said crit. Um, there's only I just there's punch. only one that I've been studying for class last semester, and that was King Arthur. That's the only one I know. And that's the only one I care to know, and that's that. Yeah. You know what? No, I I summon I summon. Isn't it like George George George? George. I summon Lord Farquaad <laughs> as my partner. Damn, so Cat's got went down then? Sonic is that what you're Actually see it's it's even it's even more complicated than that. You know, mirror mirror on the wall. Console ports are worst of all. Uh oh, you can try Mirror Mirror on the wall. Fortnite is the worst game of them all. This is very true. Peace. Fortnite again. Fortnite's not a game. It's literally the twin. It's blow up on me. Yeah, same as the game. Fortnite. Fortnite is literally Twin Tower Simulator. Literally uh, not because you fly into it, because you build towers. You'll go to engage somebody, and up oh, there's a freaking Twin Towers, right in front of your face. Uh, you know what? You got a point. And the hit detection is pretty horrible on that. It's a level three card. Can't pass that up. Oh sweet, you got drinks, so now you can actually have a real party and uh, have a drink for the uh, alcohol and Igor's cab. Damn, okay. <laughs> you fill them up. There are two enemies. Hang in there. He like I mute Teddy half the time. Is that possible? <laughs> What? I'm glad you I like could Teddy do this. Time. I can barely hear Turtle. You're and you awesome, mute Teddy. Go, go, go. No. Damn. You can't mute the Teddy. Yeah, he definitely, you know, it's like, you know, like those ESPN, like, uh, uh, call, um, the analyzers that don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it's kind of like that, except it's worse. Things is going bare. Thanks. Yeah. But he's very important. Yosuke fucking crit. Mesh. Asshole. Uh oh, Yuki chan's showing no mercy. Do you really find Teddy to be that annoying? He's just annoying at the start. I mean, he does. He set. does. Re he does repeat a lot of the lines like yeah. over and over again. Because, yeah. They obviously couldn't afford to write enough dialogue. I already told you the what if thing, right? About like what the Thanos thing. <laughs> I wake up. Fuck, to I'm ES still. I wake I'm up still pissed off of that. I wake. I wake up to ESPN every morning. I can't like anymore. Is it because your folks watch it? Are they always watching sports or something? Bobby, and also with the Thanos thing, you gonna remind me what that is? Where they, they compared him to the good side, and then he said, Oh, yeah, the freaking the what if. Piss me off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. What if Captain America was a female? What, no. if she, what if she literally induced steroids? Okay. Like, that and, one wasn't so bad. Like, that you know, wasn't what bad, if, but... Th this, is, this, is, this is the biggest what if, okay? What if... Marvel, pardon my French here, okay? What if Marvel was shit? That's basically... <laughs> <laughs> what if Marvel was crap? <laughs> is what that show is. In all honesty. Let's I mean, the didn't, didn't they didn't they turn someone black too or something? No. They turned to uh, what's his name? Who's now Ch King T'Challa? He's the <laughs> Lord is wait, wait, what's King T'Challa? What the fuck is this? Oh. That's you sure you know about this? We didn't. Well, I like to see that, but the stream is freezing. Yeah. 38 damage yeah. is fast. Okay, now I can Wait, hold on. You actually fall asleep to ESPN, like, ana analyzers? 
That, that's impressive if that's if that's true, Bobby. Jeez, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't do that. Now, see, you know what's worse than ESPN like refs though? Esports refs. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, I there. Mean, it depends on the guy. Yeah, a lot of them are annoying though. No, oh my gosh! Like, like here, I'm, okay, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ref the situation, okay? If, I, if we're in an esports thing, so Cat just got initiated into the fight. He's gonna choose the Sonic Punch. He's gonna go there. Oh my gosh! The stream's lagging. The intention is there. All oh, the attacks up. Oh my! Oh my gosh! The game's dropping frames. Dude, I watch sports. I actually like the casters more than sports casters. Ah, uh, some of them are annoying. I, I mean, I don't like. If they're long time like uh, casters, now, like, now see, listen, like, <laughs> no, it, it'd be it'd be go more like this. Oh my gosh, Cash just picked up a controller. Oh my gosh, he pressed the X button. Oh my gosh, his finger, his thumb is laying on the circle button. Will he press the circle button? It's, <laughs> it's stuff like that Amazing. that I no, heard no. from casters. But it's like more like the downer oh, like stuff. Is... More, more personas. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's more down earth stuff is good because like when I was watching the L LCS uh, for League, yeah, the guy that was casting most of the time when it was like during the day, it was he was like pretty good. chill, right? So yeah, uh, I, I, they're I, not I, all bad, but they're yeah, I don't like a lot of them though. All right, I get that. Oh, you should see the Call of Duty ones. God no. Yeah, literally the entire time. Oh my gosh, he just got his—he just got his twentieth AC one thirty gun chip. What's he gonna do with this this time? Oh my gosh, he did the same thing the other fifty thousand times. He actually shot something with it. It's like, yeah. Oh, thank you, Yoshi, for being useful when I don't need to be. There you go. Yoshi's a real one. And you're not gonna kill them. Um, I think anyway, you can tell when you're not so, controlled, though. That's nice. Do you just have like a YouTube playlist that you do, uh, that you that you look at ESPN stuff on, Bobby? Or do you actually choose specific videos? I have shuffle time. Oh, I was supposed to say, can I have shuffle time now? Quick! I summon restraining order! Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're gonna try and change the sun. Right. It's not worth it. You don't need money. No, I understand. No, but you you also could have it. You also could have it on. Um, if I chose both of those, it would have it would have quartered my money. I know you don't. I know you don't have a computer, but you could have you could have also had a laptop or something. That's I wasn't referring on your phone. I was thinking more along the lines of like a laptop or just somewhere else. And plus, on um on Xfinity, you can also choose. Uh, different stations, because ES there's a couple of different ESPN stations, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, how all is this? Listen, okay, I'm like Listen Vicky. I'm like Vicky from my robot, Bobby. My logic is undeniable. I Your logic is deniable, and I can deny it. Oh, there we go. So Dude, that was the long Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, because you're watching. You're yeah. watching us on your phone. My Rocky. So persistent. Two enemies left. <laughs> Did you see that trick when she was like, "Go!" and like lags. was like, "Go!" It got back up. Don't summon, don't summon a dice. Don't summon a dice. Enemy reinforcements. Oh, that's fucking dumb. Beat them. Okay, Yosuke, you just need to get three. See, I thought I thought one of the summons instead of saying red something, I thought it said red Baron. Yosuke I was like, oh, they summoned the red an Baron. Enemy. It's over. <laughs> so persistent. And I'm adding more music from the from this game. <laughs> there you go. I think we've already heard this one before, though. Doesn't matter. I just want to make sure I have it. Well, there you go. You can't argue with that logic. Some thick skin. Just one enemy left. I can't use. Oh, so now we're fighting. Uh, now we're fighting Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Someone crit. Or follow up attack, please. No, I've never. I haven't even had this one yet. <laughs> Into the playlist. There you go. It's so sad finding a GA final blow because you just don't fix them. You can get the angel again. 
Yeah, let's get the angel again, because then, after this, we're going to be using some personas. I might have it's, you guys look up the weakness of the boss. Now, you know what? Why can't we just make your character Naruto run? What the? Everywhere. Enemy shadow. Fire won't work on this one. Okay, when? Say I don't... Yosuke. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he just missed. <laughs> With what, like a three foot sword or four foot blade sword? You okay? Two enemies. Charge through them. Yeah, that <laughs> he just flat out missed his attack. He tripped on banana peel. Yeah. Come on. Someone else's turn. I can't get Cherry Lane and quit. Uh, whatever it is. When these guys are wind and Yosuke has wind. So persistent. Cats? What? Yosuke has wind. He has weed. What? Did you just say Yosuke has weed? Wind. <laughs> yeah, I know, they're not weak to wind. Yes, they are! Great, Sensei! Go for broke! They are weak Thank to you wind. Thank for giving me money. It's strong against wind. Don't fire attacks! Stay cool, okay? Oh. It nulls fire strong against wind, and I have nothing with white, with light or darkness. Yeah, that's my bad. One enemy! Fight! 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 It's someone else's turn! So, this became an easy fight. Fight! It's tough! Use the power of negotiation! And lag spikes. Yeah. I got an extra 143 yen. Yeah, every like. No, actually, my bad though. I read it wrong. Every like minute, I'm like getting an. Air, I'm getting a notification on my software saying you've dropped frames. You've dropped frames. <laughs> like, thank you. The software can suck it. Well, you know that's not very nice now, is it? Also, how hey, many floors? How many? Frames. How many floors does Yukiko's dad? Floor. I mean, the castle have. Just say you kill his dad's house. Yes. And I'm not gonna bother with this shit. Yeah, how many how many floors um I thought it was like eight or nine. I thought it was eight. Also, why do all the floors look this exactly the same? Budget. <laughs> Logic. Why is there... Okay, so I'm gonna have to fight these. I smell two enemies! Can I Beat crit them these and then just like Dude, plot twist, down. Yukiko is playing Fortnite on the side and casually Still just enemies. building Charge up throw. this entire castle, so there's no floor limit. Oh, that's what one of the dungeons is like. I couldn't do it. Uh, hey, you know what? Speaking right. speaking of, I just saw that comment. Speaking of you got mail, that, that's one of the jokes I made in my Bones YouTube poop. Bobby, if you remember that. I've never seen bones before. No one it's stands right. in Sensei's way. Go! I'll put it to you this way. It's it's pretty it's so absurd. I win. It's so absurd that th it? this is one of the funniest moments of the show. So Booth and Bones, you know, Booth's the FBI agent, Bones the forensic anthropologist. They're walking on down the street, right? And Booth's on the phone talking to like his agent an agent for his office. And he there's an ice cream truck. That's like on the side of the street, you know, playing the ice cream song. And he's like, hey, I can't hear you. He's like, guys, there's a truck next to me. You guys, I can't hear you. He pulls out his SIG handgun and shoots the pit, uh, the little mascot, the clown on the top of the ice cream truck. So it breaks the ice cream truck. <laughs> and he puts it away and he goes, okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> this is the stupidest I'm actually thing happy ever. I came back to farm because I wouldn't have gotten two new personas otherwise. So you guys know the leaked uh, No Way Home trailer? No. Mm, for Spider-Man? Kind of. Uh, they fi Sony finally released the actual trailer today. Oh, wow. Four hours ago. Yeah. So, what was it? The same trailer? I, I think it was. It was just yeah. like 144p. Oh, it was so. Oh, okay. Damn, yeah, because it was off of someone's phone. And yeah, because they. It was like a fan. It was like a VIP event or something. Yeah, that, that happened. So that, that's happened with a lot of movies. Three enemies. Let's get through this. We got my here. I'm still not a fan of Tom Holland though as Spider-Man. 
Who do you like more than? Oh, Tobey Maguire, man. OG. Yeah. Yeah, forever. Like his movies like is forever. Like Tom Holland isn't a bad. Oh. At, like uh, Spider-Man. He's, not, he's but... not a bad actor. You know, he's not necessarily a bad Spider-Man. He's just too young. In my opinion, he's just too young. I don't know. Just like kind of, just annoying. Just annoying. I gag him. But if he. Can I, can I stop like going one two? Now I like that Michael Keaton played that like uh, hit the villain in Far From Home or whatever it was. Michael, Ke Michael Keaton was like the Falcon guy, not not, uh, not Falcon like the superhero, but the other yeah, the guy yeah, yeah, who's like yeah. dressed like an owl. That's yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he, he was a he was a good villain. He's also a good actor. I like Michael Keaton. Oh yeah, sure. He was also Batman. He was. Yeah, he was. Michael oh. Keaton was Batman once. Years oh, ago. Was that the guy where he? Is that the one where he the suit was just like? No, it wasn't. Uh, I don't. I, you might be thinking Batman and Robin. Got back up. Uh, Hurry and Batman it. and Robin is the same movie that uh, they had the Bat Visa card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It would have been even better if he had a Bat mileage plan. <laughs> Every time, like he took a flight or something. Oh man. Um. Yeah, they had Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze, which is just oh so hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, no, yeah, no, Michael Keaton and then Val Kilmer. They both they both played him, uh, and then Tommy Lee Jones uh -oh. played Two Face, no and Val Kilmer's Batman, which was which was funny. Jim Carrey played the Joker or uh, Riddler, and then oh, okay. Jack Nicholson played the Joker in uh, Michael Keaton's film. But yeah, he was the, yeah the Vulture. Yeah, he was. That's who the guy's name is. Yeah. But yeah, he's he's but, a good actor. But no, it's like I get like why you don't like it, but it's just like it's. Because you grew up with Tom, um, not Tom, what's his name? With Tobey Maguire. Yeah, you grew up with Tobey Maguire. I saw like one or two movies and that's it. And then didn't really care. I, was I know. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You were, yeah, you were too young. Um, dude, shoot, man. One of the best scenes and one of the most frightening scenes is Spider-Man 2, the, the hospital, when Dr. Octopus kills all the doctors. And the, the, director, oh, okay. the director put that scene directly in the movie because he actually made horror films. It's a reference Jeez. to his horror films. Oh, yeah. There's one enemy! It's, I it's, pretty, remember, it's yeah. pretty bizarre, man. Yeah, like, literally, like, they're about to, like, you know, like, cut into his arms and try to, like, you know, do surgery on him. And all the arms just flat out. Oh, yeah, they're, like, throwing people all over the office and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty, like, intense for a, for a superhero movie. It was definitely a bold move from the director to, to do that because, I mean, you gotta remember... You know, people took their kids to see that movie. I shoot, I still remember my mom covering my eyes for that when I was in the theater. Yeah. Great scene. It's just uh, really bizarre. Oh, I heard it. Quite frankly, when we're done here, I'll probably just I'll just show you it. It's it's pretty. It's interesting. I'm pretty sure the guy Sam Raimi also did the Evil Dead. I think, or he did some he did some horror movie. Oh. Let's see here. Sam Raimi. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did the Evil Dead. It's a reference to the Evil Dead. That's what it is. Evil Dead's a good movie too. Okay, I'm in way over my head for this fight. But... Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I think that even Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Toby—they all bring something different to the character. That this is the thing you have to look at when you look at different actors portraying the same uh, character. You have to look at what they bring to the table. Like I'll, I'll never forget this comment. So there's been three Punisher movies, three. All three different actors, and some guys said that each one brought a different element to the table for the for Frank Castle, and you know it's like the same way with any other actor. They'll bring their interpretation and their experience to forge their, the type of character that, that they can perform well at. So, you know, it's not that I hate um, Tom Holland or Andrew Garfield, but I mean. When you look at Spider-Man as a as a superhero, he's a geek, he's a nerd, he's very socially awkward. Um, he's not, but he's not necessarily annoying. And for Andrew Garfield, I think they made him a little too emo and serious. <laughs> Wasn't dorky enough. And then with um Tom Holland, they just make him too annoying. They make him too. Yeah. They make him too naive. They try to make him like game Spider-Man. Yeah, it's it's like they just make him too naive in my opinion. Like Tobey Maguire was naive too, but he at least understood the base concepts of like morality and i think yeah and i think tom holland just it's not necessarily his fault but it's the writers of the movie too i think the writers just don't they just don't get that okay so now i just realized something having oh, certain plus, party oh, members 
Having certain party members together will cause a special uh, attack to happen. Yeah. Also, Garfield, um, when he was making, like, the jokes, like, the cop that tries to shoot him and, like, he web-slings him or something, the, the joke, like, that scene's kind of cringy, and his, his like, bad boy kind of attitude's awkward to watch. It, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit Spider-Man, because he's not wearing the black suit. It just doesn't fit him. But, yeah, like, just... And plus, you had J. Jonah Jameson as, as uh... Or sorry, you had J.K. Simmons as Jameson, which just, I mean... If you look at the cast from the first three films, I mean, Doctor Octopus was a great cast. William Defoe is the Green Goblin. You had, um, you know, even the guy who played Sandman was a good kind of good kind of bad guy. You know, he kind of sold the character of being like a thug. And just even even Uncle Ben and, and his grandma, like the, the cast was superb in Rami's uh, version of him. It just was. This was a great cast. Even down to the Couldn't office, I mean, like, like even Miss Brandt uh, was, was even, like, she's a good supporting actress. Like, she just would play that perfect, consistent kind of persona. Uh -huh. um, oh, Miss Brandt, who's, like, the office assistant to Jonah, to Jameson. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Even though she just has so minimal involvement in, like, the overall plot, she, but the fact that she still has such a significant oh, thing oh, given, given oh, such... Yeah, what happened? Did you just lose? Uh -huh. Yeah, I just lost. Oh no! What does, what does that mean? Do I lose? All, I think I lose all my data. No, you don't. No you know back way! I, do, I, I think I go back to last save. I think I go back to last save. Oh, oh, the oh from the floor. Oh, thank oh. goodness! I'm about to say if we have to do that okay, again for another hour, I'm gonna. <laughs> you're not strong. Enough. Yeah, you're not strong. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, but yeah, the fact that Miss Brant made such a memorable thing, even for having such little lines. That, that just shows something about, like, storytelling, the, the direction of the films, and the writers. Because if you could make something, if you could make a cockroach, something so small in a movie, have such a big role and have such a big impact, you're doing something right. But, they, they, they honestly, they just have the, uh, Rami just had the formula down. He, he knew his vision, kind of like George Lucas, and he really just went for it, and it worked. He knew what he wanted, and, uh, I mean, kudos to him. He had the balls to pull it off. And people bashed on the third film, but I, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was fine. CGI looks... I mean, CGI no, looks kind of off. Fuck, Sending so out in a sos. Gosh, the amount of times my friend's dad played that on Guitar Hero was... Crazy. So wait, what does that do? Don't know. I'm just trying to see how I get out of here. Uh, I would say... It, I was going to say it calls on other players, but this is only a single player game. So I must call another. No, you, you, it'll send your characters to hell. I'm just so happy that it didn't make me uh, restart from the very beginning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I oh, you're not gonna fight the boss? Beat them up. Dude, I can't. It one shot. Someone else's turn. I thought it was just like a glitch or something. It really did just one shot you. Dude, when wow, when he has one, when he has an AOE attack that deals 200 damage. And the only one being able to survive is uh, Chi. No, Chi didn't even survive because it was 222. Yeah. You hit it great, Miss Chi. Keep it up, Chi Chan. No, I think Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange is a good. I, I think that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't really have any problems with him. That's a good idea. But yeah, no, Tom Holland. Like, he's a hit or miss sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I mean, kid's got spirit. I think, you know, he definitely oh, yeah, wants sure. to make... He definitely has passion, I think, for the character. But again, the... the j j just the delivery... The delivery of what's in front of him combined with, like, what he's directed to deliver. That's why I'm saying it's not necessarily his fault. Like, when you... When those two kind of... Well, when, the, when those two kind of conflict with each other, then it just causes problems. But yeah, I mean, he gets the job done to a degree. Oh, my angel. Angel, my angel. <laughs> yeah, so no, we'll, like we can do this boss. Or... But what's nice is that we can come back and do this boss anytime. There are three enemies! 
Can we at least, uh, find the current batches in the new movie, though? That's, I'm not Let's get through this. What's up? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Benedict. Yes, Benedict Cumberbatch is gonna be in the movie. That's my man. You know he is. Yeah, he's in the trailer. That's why. That's why I said his name. He's yeah. on the front of it. Yeah, he's in everything now. He's like. He's gonna be in the. Uh, he's Sherlock Holmes. Well, yeah, no, but he's gonna be in basically like every new Marvel movie like, coming out for a while. Dude, Doctor Strange. Yeah. You know what? I would oh. rather have five spin-offs with Benedict Cumberbatch oh. than anything else they have brewing in their offices. I gotta be honest. Because Black Widow kind of Black oh, Widow sucked. I, I can't pick both of them. Captain Marvel sucked. Um, yeah. Most even the Falcon and the Winter Marvel. Soldier kind of sucks. Yeah, Wanda the ending was. Yeah, Wandavision was was all right from what I understand. But oh, dude, they literally dropped the. Uh, do they drop a total political card in there? Um, when when the when, you know the Falcon, who's now the Captain America, he goes, it's like a race thing, and he goes, Mayor, yeah. you need to do a better job. It's like it's dude like the, I remember a lot of people like on YouTube that I watched that do re that essays on that show. They said that just felt really out of place and just like really like you're trying to stir some shiz up. And but they like, were alluding yeah. to it the whole season though, so I mean. Yeah, I, no, but I, I understand that, but you have to under, also understand that we live in a day and age where Hollywood, dude, Hollywood is super politicized right now. Oh yeah, it, it, it seriously is. So you have to be able to, you have to be able to call, you know, it, hey, like if there's a show that deals with like again racism and like if it's like a movie about historical racism, you know, like that, that's one thing. If they really are, if it's part of the story and it makes sense, but I have a, I just. I get this feeling from a lot of modern movies now that they push a lot of garbage just because they can, and yeah. and no one cares. Like nobody cares. People when people watch Captain America, they want to see him fight bad guys, and they, they want to see they want to see good good triumph over evil. That's always been the hero kind of story. And the Winter Soldier was like a good story, though. Oh no, I, the Winter Soldier, like the, that movie with Chris Evans and everything, dude, that was a great film. I love the Winter Soldier. To put him in such like put Captain America in such a weird spot. Quite frankly, I wish I wish Chris Evans was still Captain. I wish he would play Captain America in this show. I wish it was just Chris Evans. Dude, he just came back. No, I know I understand oh, that. No, but like, I'm just he's saying, not dead. Like he's, he, yeah, he, he's just he's just old. He's just old. He went, yeah. he went back in time. Yeah, but he's not dead. No, no, no hold on, hold on. Let me ba back up, back your horses up, cats. What I'm saying is that I think if if the show had Chris Evans and it was like Falcon still being Falcon. I think that would have been a great show, or at least like oh, I wish there was at least a cameo because like he's yeah, it wasn't that he was dead. No, but it's just you know, I kind of I, I kind of think they they I think they made Captain America become old too soon though. I really think they yeah. did. Yeah, but he is, but I don't know. It's, well, it's just kind of worth it though. Yeah. Because when Tony died and then Captain America, like, it was good. I mean, well, so, dude, like, Robert was... Downey Jr. was their biggest moneymaker and they just lost oh, it. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, they had to find a way. Okay, Cats, I understand that, but I'm but I'm looking at it from the future standpoint, from, like, an investor's standpoint. Is that, yeah, yeah like, with Roger, with Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans gone, they're going to lose a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Because they were really big box office draws. Robert Downey Jr. was, like, a huge, he was the biggest one, I think, for Marvel. He really was. I'm not blaming the writers. They had to kill him off. That's fine. He was a hero, and he died a hero, and that's fine. But looking at it from a financial standpoint, it's it's they have to really come up with some new original ideas now because they 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 were at a really high point, you know, like ten years ago. Now they have to get back to that, and it's going to be very difficult for them. It's it's like for example, um, like think like Bobby will get this. Like think uh. Like, like, they, oh, think Modern Warfare 2. That game was amazing. And have you noticed we haven't gotten a COD game that good, like, ever? Because it was just so high. Nothing's been able to live up to it. It's kind of like that. Can me, please? But anyway, yeah, it's like that. It's like, you know, like, Marvel Downey Jr. was like the MW 2 <laughs> of, like, Marvel. It's super good. Everyone loved it. And then, you know, it'll be a while before they recapture that, probably. I know, I get it. Which, which, again, and then from a financial standpoint, it just makes their job harder because now they have to, they really have to be creative now. And by I creative, 
By creative, I don't mean literally doing, I don't literally mean doing what ifs and yeah. changing everything, changing lore, changing characters. I mean, that just it makes zero sense. And dude, it's pandering, okay? It, it just is flat out pandering. Yeah, I don't know time. how else to explain it. It just is, and no, it, it's like He-Man. He-Man was total pandering to a very small minority. And, gosh, it just really makes me remember how stupid freaking Hollywood is really these days. Anyway, but they have a I long way to I just realized the next, two the next two Doctor Strange movies are just going to involve the multiverse, and that's it. Wait, and I, and I, and wow. I also have to say, is, <laughs> didn't Shang-Chi, is like, that's under flack yeah, now, too? But they're too slow. You know, like, know, like China, like, I don't know if they want to show it in China or something, but now that movie's under flack for some are reason. Because right, of, I think, some politics. So. You okay? Yeah. I mean, it, it all just boils. It, it all just boils down to Hollywood just lazy. Mm. They're not willing to take risks. Yikes, it's tough. Okay. Three enemies left. But I really hope, like, I hope change is so at least decent. Though. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna make money, but um, if it's good though, that's a good yeah, it's Keep yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I think honestly, I think most, even most of our family friends, like if you if you ask my family friends and my friends, I think most of them. Yeah, Lo Loki was all right, although oh my gosh, I have to I have to say this, in the beginning the pilot episode, Owen Wilson's in it. He's a good actor by the way, I like Owen Wilson. He's in the show, and there's a there's a female judge, like you know, like judging it, like oh it's you know that. It, like, when you watch it, like, it's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with anything in, like, the room. It's all fine. You know, everything's fine. And they then, like, Careful. they send Loki. She sends Loki it's off so somewhere. Scrawny. And then, you know what? You know what they make Owen Wilson go up to her and say? They literally, he goes up to the judge Someone and he goes, you know, I feel like I'm below you and that feels, like, really good. It feels really appropriate. And I was like, what, what the? the I was like, what the? He said that. I was like, what the frick does that mean? You know? It's like, why? I don't know. What the? It's just... And, and it doesn't help, like, and it has nothing to do with her skill, like, I don't know who the actress is, I'm sure she's a good person, but it also doesn't help that she's, that she's African-American, and, you know, it just, when you have that whole image, like, it's just, you can, you can misinterpret that in so many different ways. And, anyway, it's just, they literally make him say that, go, go watch the pilot, and you'll, you'll see it. And it's just like, what the does that mean? Um... But no, I, I've heard Loki, I've heard good things about Loki, I've seen a couple episodes, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's all right. Yeah, it's just Hmm? You haven't finished yet? No, but Owen Wilson and uh, Loki are like both. I mean, Tom Hiddleston's a good actor. And I'm gonna, I have nothing against him. He's a nice guy, too. And again, Owen Wilson's been in a lot of. I mean, he's been in a lot of great films, man. Wedding Crashers, he's not at the museum. He's in Wedding Crashers? Oh, yeah, he is. A yeah, he's in Wedding Crashers. I mean, he, he, he's he been in a lot of comedies, too. He was in Meet the Parents. That was another good he's one. A, he's a car. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's Lightning McQueen. I didn't know I that for the longest time. Beat them up. Yeah. Here go. Um, oh, and then you know what? That's like the I'm I'm muddling my way through the bad batch right now. Like it's I'm watching it, but same thing with the Mandalorian. Yeah. It's just it's just like yeah. But that one's yeah. I'm still gonna finish it because I'm a fan. So I Yeah. Oh yeah, but dude, we gotta watch a comedy here, you know, a movie that's gonna be a comedy, you like we have to do this. um I like it. Meet, meet the parents or eat little little fuckers is a good one too. I couldn't do it. Here goes. Okay, go. this thing okay, is triggering way too often. Yeah. But no, uh, what I say we watch is grown ups. Is what? Grown up. Oh, grown ups is great. I love grown ups. Not too grown ups. The first one. The first. Nah, the second one's all right, but the first one's better. Sorry, I could agree with you on that. Yes. I mean, dude, even even the film I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry is that one's hilarious. Are it's about right? two. <laughs> it's it's about two fire. So uh, Kevin James is in it with Adam Sandler, and like in order to like get benefits, they have to be gay. <laughs> it's just it's stupid. All right. It, it's not as weird as you think. Like so, like they're two straight guys. You know, they're just trying to get benefits. Yeah. But it, it's so the, the the whole it's so funny. It's such a great film because both Adam Sandler's a great comedian, and Kevin James is funny, even though apparently he's a douchebag in real life. 
he's nasty to his fans, which is unfortunate. One of my favorite actors is Jack Black. Jack Black's funny too. Like School of Rock, that's a good one. Jack Black was in that one. It's a good film. I barely remember that movie. Yeah, I think that movie is pretty good. Yeah, movie's good. Um, what else? Jack Black, Gulliver's Travel was another one that was all right. And then trying to think, Jack Black, Jack Black. Oh, uh, he was in King Kong, the 2005 one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that, that that is a wonderful film. I did not see the 2005 one. It's really good. Okay, we'll definitely have to watch that. It's really good. I thought it got bad reviews. Are you kidding me? Dude, Peter Jackson made it. Same guy who did Lord of the Rings. No, that movie. Wait, wait, that movie. Why, movie, didn't, it get, why huh? didn't it get a sequel? I didn't need. It, it didn't need one. Are you all right, Yosuke? You're hurt. Because you know the story of King Kong, right? You know why. You know why they never make King Kong two, King Kong three. You know, you know like you know the original story to it. Guys. Exactly. So it never. It, it didn't need a sequel. But no, that that um that okay, so movie. That movie's, act, that movie's not like Skull Kong, Skull Island. Is no, 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 no. The original King Kong. Yeah, like Kong Skull Island is is in the is in the uh, legendary like monster verse thing. I thought um, it was cool. Yeah, I thought it was all right, and then it had a good cast too. But yeah, the King Kong was just it's one off. It's just a retelling of the classic story. That's cool if Kevin James passed by there. Hopefully, he was in a better mood than do his fans. Anyway, I'm just gonna say. But yeah, uh, King Kong won the award for I think for best special effects that year it was in competition Dude, yeah. with uh war of the war of the worlds also came out that same year with uh, steven spielberg's movie you want to know one thing i don't like like about the king kong movie Eh, what don't tell me it's the insect pit fuck it's the insect dude the insect pit is awesome i don't know what you're talking about dude i am insectophobia or whatever the fuck it's called yeah right, the so original, yeah, original king kong uh, so in the original, original King Kong, I think it had an insect pit, but no, the, the one in the 2005 one is even more like, like disturbing. It's, it, but it's awesome. Like the, it just, I, I say it's awesome because the amount of technical work and effects that they put on like into that scene is like, it's phenomenal. Grossed like or, or it's dangerous. 2005 and I've never seen a more realistic mutated grasshopper in my life. Like I just, I haven't like the, the monsters, like they, they look real. Like it's like, there's like, you know, I, I'm pretty loose with that term, like, you know, there's like, you know, hey, it looks pretty good, and then when I say it looks real, man, it looks real. Like, there's few special effects that really, like, look real to me, and that's one of them. But if you don't like bugs, then yeah, that scene is like hell for you. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I suggest you find a save point, cats, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Oh, it's a it's a short stream today. Yeah, I gotta take a I gotta do a homework assignment once this is over. No problem. You just did and get some sweep. What's your first persona called? What's his name? Is it or what is it? Is he Is he basically just combined with everyone? What the? F is that Astro uh, Boy? No. Is that Astro uh, Boy? All, all personas can fuse with any persona. Gosh, it looks like Jet Jaguar, but it's not. That's pretty common, Bobby. Spiders bother most people, although I think they're fascinating little creatures. Fuck spiders. They're cool, man. If they're close no, up, it's they are not. disgusting sometimes. Yeah, it's... I, I don't mind spi like how spiders are annoying, but... Oh gosh, dude, you, uh, let me put it to you this way. I've said this before. My brother used to sleep with a tarantula next to his bed. Yeah, fuck that. Like, that's no. fine, but if it's like, if you get like a close-up shot, like a, a screw you shot where it's just like the face, it's no. Oh yeah, okay. no, no, it's 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 freaky. Like, it's not, it's not pretty. Yeah. But, no, no, yeah. Hey, you know, it's spider, spiders are like amazing pest control. Oh, no, they're yeah. not good in anything. I'm on a Yeah, they are. They're amazing pests. Do you know how good yeah. spiders are at, like, killing pests in your garden? Yeah. And you know how fucking creepy they are? Oh, so Doesn't you're... Matter. So it's... you're... Yeah, no. So you're a pansy, and you can't let your pansiness um, ruin God's creation, you know? But not like this, but if there was a spider in my house, I'd, I'd probably... It. I'd probably... Would like, you scream like a little inside. girl? Uh, 
Okay. I'm almost done, don't worry. You better buy a Izanagi back. Why should I? If you know it's good for you. If I know it's good oh, for me. Yeah. Are, are, are we seriously going to go down the level 99 Izanami route in this Yes. Space? You gotta get that shock, that shock strap. You don't want to see what I can do with Izanami. Do it. Dude, literally, this guy on YouTube did a Izanami only run. Unfanful. Abomination. What did it have? Like everything in it? It was level 99 with level 99 with 99 in every stat, and he made it immune to its weakness. Whoa! Which means he had, he had an Izanami that could not be that could not like be taken advantage of. That's good. So you just lost Hashibar though. Also, yeah. some guys. So just just because I'm just because I'm crazy, I'm looking up tarantula close-up shots now. Some guy oh. put human eyes on the two big eyes. <laughs> that right, looks that freaky. Send it. Send it. Dude, don't please don't look at this no, just thing, send, just send man. It to me, I will. Yeah, look at this thing. Wow. Oh wait, I can't because I'm on. Uh, actually, just here, I'll do this. Check this out. Quick little intermission screen. Hi. I'm the master. And then watch here. I'll send it right to Tree. Here's the. Uh... Oh crap! I gotta do this. Uh, there's Tree. Oh what? I just lost it. Dang it! Where'd it go? Nope. Don't open up Zoom, you fruit. Show in folder. Here we go. Yeah. You Get a load. Get a load. Uh, this sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's, it's so disgusting and interesting. At it's time. weird. <laughs> Alright, here, let me go back to. Like, uh, it's not even disgusting. Like, it just kills it. Like, it's not scary at all. It's interesting. Yeah. What scares me more, see, you guys are freaked out about the eyes, man. The fangs, what freaks me oh, out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fangs, what well, freaks me out. not the eyes. That's when... No, it's just the whole face, I guess. Like, a close-up of it. Like, little well, it's hair. Oh, yeah. make it oh, yeah. Yep, and the hairs oh, are poisonous. Oh, fuck. Why do you have a goat? No, never mind. What, what a goat? Getting... We're making a goat. It's not a goat. It's a ram. My bad. Cue the uh, Ram Trucks commercial. Yeah. Nope, a oh, spider yeah. I would never want to run into in real life would be the camel spider. The one that's in the Middle East. Yeah. That's something. Is that one that can do. kill you? A tarantula that can kill you? Yeah. Is that one that can kill you? Yeah. There's tarantulas that are venomous. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, dude. Me and Fruitcake, when Fruitcake came to visit me, we. In the aquarium, there was a venomous tarantula. Yeah. Did you try to break into the uh, exhibit and try to kill it, cats? No. <laughs> no, but I did. But I did stick my hand. Oh. I did stick my hand in the uh, man. Nope, that that's a unigoat, unicorn goat. That's definitely a unigoat. Oh sweet, can I get wasted now? Oh. Oh, take it. Wow, I went from eight to three. Yeah, but they're all better though. But you know you gotta do that. Don't do it. Don't get rid of all of them. I God damn it. Well, I'm not level 20. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't get rid of all of them. Now, I must do something. He's not good. He's not good. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. He's only level 7. I never, I never rechecked him in. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, worth. well, no more is no. enough. No, 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 He's worth the buy. He's worth no, the buy, damn it. Worth. He's, worth, he's the worth the buy. He's worth the buy. He's not worth a seventh he of my shit. He's not he worth a is. seventh of my shit. Yes, he is. Don't give up on Izanagi and his chalk strap. <laughs> his little cup, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Izanagi never let you down. It's never. Not with a set like that, he won't. <laughs> Alright, y'all, well, this was a good stream. Yeah.
All right, Bobby. Hey, we'll catch you tomorrow. All right. Some more persona. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go do my assignment and totally not, not uh, cheat on it. So are we? Uh, 